models, Mirabeau is gradually increasing both the scale and the detail. Within five years, he hopes to lift many satellites to orbit with a craft such as this. This is a full-scale model of a laser-propelled light craft. The entire vehicle is as you see it here. There are no external tanks. There's a small propellant tank inside. The front end of this is where the satellite electronics go. The whole front end of this thing becomes an inlet to make this engine supplied with air on the way to orbit. The back side of this is a large parabolic mirror, highly polished, that is designed to capture the laser beam that is projected to it from the ground onto this optic, and it focuses the laser power right inside this shroud here. When that happens, an explosion occurs as the air is rapidly heated, creating a shock wave that pushes this vehicle forward. As the beam is rapidly pulsed, the engine is continuously propelled on its way to orbit. Why should astronauts have all the fun? I, mean, I want to go to space. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Uh, I could afford it if it was for the price of an airline ticket. And that's why I'm developing Lightcraft technology, because it would open up space to everyone. There's even a second generation of ideas about beam-powered spacecraft. Close to the Earth, the craft converts sunlight into electron beams that spin like a fan moving it in any direction. Then it flips over. An orbiting solar power station hits it with a laser or microwave blast to generate 9 billion watts of electricity. This powers a remarkable engine that forces air downwards and even pushes the atmosphere out of its path. The 60-foot craft and a dozen passengers could reach the moon in just five and a half hours. A solar-powered, virtually free ride.